Welcome to worshiptutorials.com. This guitar is a Brave & Co. T1. I think they call this the Lion. Uh, this guitar features Lambertone's Crema pickups. This guitar is a Ricardo Sanchez Thin Line Tele T style guitar, uh, and it features Lambertone's grinders. The first part of this video is going to be comparing and talking about these two different sets of pickups. Because I know a lot of you uh, love Lambertone's pickups, for good reason, they are awesome, and sometimes you don't quite know which to go with between the grinders and the cremas. Timestamps all across the bottom of this video where you can just jump to different sections, watch what you'd like to watch. I would like to say as a point of disclosure that these two guitars were loaned to us, not given to us, uh, by Curtis of Lambertone's Pickups. These are actually Curtis's guitars. He sent them to us just to check them out use them in videos uh, so we could have both different sets of Lambertone's humbuckers. Uh, I am giving these back to Curtis uh, like this week. So sadly, we won't have these guitars uh, here on the channel much longer. Curtis has given us some pickups to use in our guitars, but uh, neither Curtis uh, at Lambertone's nor Brave & Co nor Ricardo Sanchez has paid us to sponsor this video. In any way. So, uh, as always here at Worst Tutorials, the opinions that uh, that you will hear expressed in these videos are our own, and they are not influenced by any outside company or anything like that. <laughs> Okay, so first let's talk about the Crema pickup. So the Crema are sort of the flagship humbucker or pickup from Curtis at Lambertone's pickups. So the thing about the Cremas that we love are uh, the, the clarity and the note separation. And I, you could say the headroom, uh, the way they compress, uh, it, it really works well for this, for praise and worship style music or any style of music where you're using a lot of effects into an amp, especially a lot of reverbs and delays, that kind of thing. It just works really well. Um, when you have so much going on, you can still hear everything uh, that you play, like every note is just crystal clear. One of the things we love about them. Another thing a lot of people assume about the Crema pickups, and uh, the grinders a little bit, but more so about the Cremas, is that they're like a single coil sounding pickup in a humbucker. That's not necessarily true. They are a humbucker pickup, and they sound like a humbucker pickup to me. Uh, the output level is higher than what you would get with a single coil. I think the reason why a lot of people say that is because with single coil pickups, one of the really um, magical things about them is the transient of the attack of the note. So when you hit a string with a single coil guitar like a Telecaster, for example, it's got that really nice thick transient that you really jumps out at you and humbuckers in comparison can sound a little dull or mushy as the way I like to think about it in comparison not quite uh, not quite as sharp on the attack the cremas have that sort of single coil transient attack thing about them another one of the reasons why I really love these pickups uh, is because they give you that, and I think that translates, a lot of people hear that and they think chime, or they hear that and they think uh, bright or clarity. Really, it has to do with the transient of the attack, and I think part of it is like the headroom of the pickup as well. But these are humbucker pickups, and they sound like humbucker pickups. They're not single coil pickups uh, in a humbucker body or anything like that. They sound like great sounding humbuckers. I would categorize them as uh, brighter than a typical humbucker, lots more clarity, uh, and maybe a little bit lower output, but I wouldn't say they're super low output pickups as well. All around just awesome sounding uh, humbucker pickups for this style of music. <laughs>
All right, so moving on to the grinder pickup. Now the grinder is a slightly higher output pickup that has a little bit more aggression in the mid-range. That can be a really good thing, especially when it comes to poking through a mix. The, uh, the grinders have a little bit more compression on them as well. Uh, you can think of that like as headroom if you want to, uh, but they sound slightly more compressed than the Kremas, which have sort of a more open, less compressed feel to them. The same way that the, uh, the Crema has just tons of clarity and tons of chime, the grinder has that as well. You get that clarity, you get that note separation. Maybe not quite as much because of the, the compression factor that, that comes with these pickups. And this is all pretty nuanced stuff. Like you really have to listen pretty hard. Once you hit it with, uh, you know, gain and reverb and delay and in a full mix, I think you would be really hard pressed to really be able, they're not like stark different sounding pickups. They sound pretty similar. The end result is kind of like the Lambertone signature sound, uh, but they do have different nuances about them as well. All right, so before we go any further and get Curtis's uh, thoughts and notes on these pickups, the builder of these pickups, I want to just play uh, some samples for you back to back. Now I wanted to do this video with these two guitars for a couple reasons. One is they're pretty similar in the way they're built. Again, we're gonna talk about these guitars later in the video more specifically, but they're both thin line Telecasters, bolt-on neck design, both fender scale length, both have stainless steel frets, both have a Bigsby. Uh, now the bridge is a little different, different material on the saddles for each one. When I say bridge, I meant the saddles. Um, and uh, the woods are different. There are some differences in these guitars, and every guitar is gonna sound a little different, but uh, these are, you know, without getting the exact same model of guitar with different pickups in it, these are pretty close as far as their construction goes. They have the same set of strings on them as well. Let's hear what they sound like back to back. <laughs> Okay, so some notes from Curtis. Again, he built these pickups, he designed them. The Crema, so let's start with some tech specs. Uh, he, he said he would send me some, uh, some of the non top secret stuff that is not on the website. So the neck pickup in the Crema is an Alnico 4 magnet, 3.55K output. The bridge pickup is an Alnico 8, 
and it's 4.15K output. Now the grinder, slightly different. The neck is an Alnico 5 magnet, 4.2K output, so slightly higher than the uh, the Crema 3.55 versus 4.2. And the bridge pickup is an Alnico 8. That's the same as the, uh, the bridge on the Crema, as far as the type of magnet. And it's a 6.15K output versus, again, 4.15K on the uh, the crema so grinder set di there are different magnet uh, types in the net pickups and the um the outputs are slightly different now when i play these two guitars back to back i don't necessarily hear that big of a difference in output but i can hear that the the uh the grinder set is a slightly higher output set it doesn't you know it doesn't cause me to want to change my settings on my amp or anything like that. It just, it's a little bit hotter. Um, and you have to remember that the uh, the output level and the magnet types are just two pieces of a much larger tonal recipe that is going on. Um, so, it, you know, these things can affect pickups greatly or, you know, very subtle as well. So a few more notes from Curtis. The grinder and the Crema pickup sit in the same tonal spectrum with a few characteristic differences. Really, they're designed for a similar experience, but with a different kind of user in mind. So this is really interesting coming from Curtis. Here's what he says about the Crema. The Crema shines in its note-for-note -note articulation and headroom. I definitely hear that when I play it. The pickup plays best with players who want to hear and feel everything and or have significant effects processing that they use, which is a sort of a characteristic hallmark of the praise and worship sort of genre. Um, and you wanna push your tone to get your desired effects. So push it with different effects and that kind of thing. So these are my thoughts now, not Curtis's. I think people often underestimate the impact of the pickup itself when it comes to the way that your effects sound, uh, especially like reverb and delay, things like headroom. You don't think about headroom in a pickup. Usually you think about it in an amp or an overdrive pedal, something like that. All right, moving on to the grinder. This is what Curtis says about the grinder. It shines for a player that wants more clarity and dynamics with a simpler setup, i.e. a guitar and an amp. With a different wire type than the Crema, that is a big deal as far as the way the pickup sounds. It uses a different type of wire than the uh, Kramer. The grinder is a kind of a hopped up version with a small bump in the mid-range, more overall compression, and it gets you closer to that edge of breakup if you plug into like a clean amp. Uh, both the Crema and the grinder can be used to emulate similar styles uh, and tones. Both can take pedals and effects very well. They start at a different bass line, but kind of get to the same end result. The differences are pretty subtle with these two pickups and uh, those are definitely things that I that I experience when I play these two uh, different guitars. <laughs> Okay, a few more thoughts of my own before we move on to talking about these guitars specifically. When it comes to the pickups, uh, I love both sets of pickups. I love the Kramas, I love the Grinders. Uh, like Curtis said, they're they're pretty similar as far as their overall you know sonic footprint, um, but they do they do sound a little different and they do react a little bit different with your pedals uh, or your effects, and uh, they kind of have different you know. Um, impacts in how you sit in the overall mix. I really love the grinders because they give you that uh, that mid boost that you don't get from the Kramas and that I feel like really helps you stand out in a mix. Um, now if I were gonna have to pick one set of pickups, I've thought about this, what would I pick? 
if I had to pick one set, because I know many of you, if you're if you're looking into a set of Lambertones pickups, humbuckers, you're gonna have to make this decision. My pick would be to cheat and to get both sets. No, <laughs> yes, but if I had one, I would cheat and I would get a a, a grinder bridge and a Kramer neck. I actually had that pickup set in my PRS Custom 24, which is on the wall. I think, yeah, that's it, right behind us there. Uh, so I had that set in my Custom 24 for a while, and I loved it, and it's like the best of both worlds to me. The middle position is awesome with that pickup set. You kind of get them both together, but when you go to the bridge, I like that slight little bit more uh, aggression from the grinder pickup and that mid boost. And when you go to the neck, it's just, it's warm, it's clarity, it's so good. Um, and the, the grinder neck is, is awesome as well, as you've heard in these demos. But I feel like the grinder crema combo, grinder bridge, crema neck, is a really, really good uh, setup that gets you sort of the best of both worlds from these pickups. I will say I had that combo for a while in a guitar and I have another guitar coming. It's gonna be a secret. It's gonna be awesome when it shows up that has those two pickups in it, Grinder Bridge, Kramer Neck. Um, it's gonna be on the channel soon. Uh, I don't feel like the bridge is like way hot while the neck is, you know, way quiet. Uh, they feel balanced to me, even when you do, you know, mix and match them. So that's my pick, Grinder Bridge, Kramer Neck. I know I cheated. They both sound awesome. You really can't go wrong either way. A couple final thoughts on these things. Uh, uh, sets of pickups are gonna sound different in different guitars. Uh, I know there are a lot of people out there that think, you know, this set of pickups will sound exactly the same regardless of the guitar that they are in. I don't believe that to be true and experience has taught me uh, because I have done it where I've put different sets of pickups in different guitars and they don't sound the same in different guitars. So the guitar has an impact on the, the tonal recipe. But I hope that this video was helpful for you in trying to make a decision if, if you're in that position between these two types of pickups. And as always, feel free to reach out to Lambertones. They are there to help you find the pickups that are right for you. So reach out to them if you have any questions at all. Leave a comment in this video like, subscribe, uh, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.